So, we got this uh, Kunite spreader fixed up. Well, one of the breakdowns. Right under here. This right here was broke off. You probably saw the pictures. And um, we got her welded. Beefed up this side a bunch. This whole box piece underneath wasn't even there. And then while we were at it, we had that side get all beefed up because that side was gonna break sooner or later. So we didn't do this welding. We're not quite this good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, hopefully we don't have any problems. That's hauled like 10 or so loads of liquid wet manure. And that stuff is heavy. So, how it originally happened is there was a hole in the hay field and this tire dropped in it and it broke this whole side. You can see the tires were rubbing here. And here, smoking. It was literally smoking the tires. And uh, now we're working up here. That cylinder that opens the gate took a crap, so gotta get that rebuilt. Because it doesn't move the door up or down, and uh, we thought it maybe it was the SCV on the tractor. We swipped, still didn't work. Swapped the hoses around. And then that still didn't work. We tried a different tractor, it didn't work. So, something, the, the cylinder isn't working right. So, yeah. This whole area on the spreader, I don't know, it's not the best. This chain usually likes to fly off here and there. And then when that flies off, it'll break your grease hose. We got to get that fixed. And you won't get any grease to that bearing down there. And it really sucks. So this door right here, see how that's loose like that? The cylinder couldn't even lift this up where it would pull this tight. So this is definitely the cylinder. So, thought of spreading that one zero degree day and uh, super windy, I would assume. And uh, this tractor is dirty, you can't even see through. So. Yeah, I just pressure washed that tractor too. It wasn't me this time. It was really dirty. It was bad. It... Bring the pressure washer out tomorrow. That's all I can say. Just covered, man. Covered in shit. So, um, seems like it's always one thing or another with this spreader, but I think we're starting to get all the kinks worked out of it. Maybe. <laughs> so... Yeah, what's next? This wood box we didn't put on there it was before. That thing always falls apart. And then the whole thing fell off the side. So we had to reinforce it. We put this two by six in. And then we had to put a bunch of uh, lag bolts here. It's starting to split. So if it keeps giving us too much problems, we're just gonna have to take it off and run it without the wood extensions. When they put it on originally, they should have did a full piece of wood all the way across but each side they split it here and that's what's really been giving us a pain in the ass so but um those are some big ass boards when you're hauling liquid manure um you don't want to fill it up past here because that stuff weighs so much that's what makes this explode bed pack you can use the extension but when you're hauling liquid like water soup you don't want to go any higher than the metal, so. Kunai 8118, 5,000 bucks is all we got paid for this damn thing. <laughs> Quite a deal. It's not the most reliable machine ever. Once we got this door in new, that helped a lot. And then this shield here underneath, that, when we put a new one of those in, this thing spread a hundred times better. hundred times better. Should have did that right when we bought it. So, I think we're finally starting to run out of stuff to fix. So maybe it'll be more reliable. Oh, we also, the back splash guard rotted off. So we got a new one for it. We just got to put it on yet. Because manure is pretty corrosive. So, 
Here's the side pieces to that splash guard. Pretty thick. And then the long piece is in the back. It's in the shop here somewhere. It's in the back shed. So we'll have to get that on here soon. That's pretty thick. And that, that stuff would rot paper thin out of holes in it. So, yeah. Got the skid loaders in here side by side. 